Hey what's up, it's Pity and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've last posted but I'm very happy to be back. Today I'm here with a soft glam eye makeup tutorial so without further ado, let's begin. I'm starting off with the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I'm going to use this as a primer and apply this all over the lids. It's going to cancel out any discoloration and it's a great base for my eyeshadows. And I'm blending this in with my Real Techniques blending brush. Using my E55 eyeshading brush from Sigma, I'm going to take the shade Tempera from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and apply this shade all over the lids. It's going to help set the primer as well as help all of my other eyeshadows blend in easier. Now using my Sigma Beauty E25 blending brush, one of my favorites, I'm going to take the shades Burnt Orange and Orange Soda and apply them to the outer V, focusing the shade just right there and then gradually building the shade up. And then with whatever product I have left, I'm going to blend it inwards and then lightly upwards. I don't want to take this product too high because again, we're going for a soft glam makeup look, not like full blown out. With the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Sienna and pack this onto the lid, just focusing this color on the outer lash line portion of the lid. I want to pack it in so I don't go heavy handed and then just lightly blend this color so it looks very diffused and even. And again, we're not going to go up too high because we're going for a soft glam today. Now I'm going to take the shade Mulberry and I'm going to do the same thing as before. Apply this right on that lash line there, focusing it on the outer corner by just tapping it in and then lightly, gradually building the color up and then going in back and forth motions to blend it in, making sure that I'm not going up too high. Going back to the eye shading brush, I'm going to take the shades Glistening and Fairy and apply this to the inner portion of the lid just very lightly. So making sure that it doesn't take away from the look. I'm going to use the E40 Tapered Blending Brush from Sigma to just blend all of the colors together, making sure that they all look very soft and diffused. Now using my Pixie and Whaley collab, this is the black eyeliner duo. I'm going to take the cold liner side as well as the liquid liner side. I'm going to use the cold liner first to tight line my upper lash line and then use the liquid liner to create a mini cat eye. Now I'm going to take my mini lash curler and curl my lashes. This makes a big difference because I have very, very tiny lashes. So using this little tiny thing really, really helps me actually get a precise curl on my lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Total Temptation Mascara from Maybelline and apply this to the upper lashes for now and then go in later on the lower lashes after I have finished my foundation. For this look, I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, applying it with the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. And I love this lash. It's absolutely one of my faves. It's pretty much my favorite as of right now. Um, I go in between this one and my um, Queen Bees, of course. Um, but this one I love because it really just pulls the look together. I'm going to use this mini lash curler again and just... Um, blend in the fake lashes with my real lashes. Today I'm going to apply the I Love Said I E Times Color Pop 951 Lip Combo. This is the lip liner and satin lip color. I love Karen. She's freaking amazing. I love this color. And then I'm going to take the Amrezy Times Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and apply this to the inner corners and brow bone to highlight. And then taking Sienna and Burnt Orange and applying this shade on the lower lashes and just kind of building that and diffusing it out. And then taking Mulberry and then just focusing that on the outer portion of the lower lash line. 
And now I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Kolka Gel in the shade Nude and apply this to my waterline. This just kind of adds a pop to my eyes and makes them appear to look bigger. And then again, take that Total Temptation Mascara and apply this to the bottom lashes. And that completes this eye makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to see how I got the foundation look, stay tuned. I will have that video up sometime later this week. I will link it down below. And as always, have a beautiful day. Bye!